Britain, the land of fire and ice. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> to Iceland and this week I will be sharing with you guys my solo adventure around the whole of Iceland starting from Reykjavik going to the west going to the north going to the east going to the south then back to Reykjavik <laughs> this is a solo adventure so I'll be doing it on my own driving on the right hand side of the road which is gonna be really weird um, and I have to apologize for my voice I don't normally sound like this I just have a cold um, so I'm a bit congested, so please bear with me. Uh, <laughs> and the reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is just to inspire anyone, absolutely anyone, including you, and definitely you, to get out, follow that calling in your heart, and go have adventures and do everything you want to do. Especially if you're looking at doing anything on your own, like solo traveling, I just wanted to prove that you can do it, and it is okay. Uh, there's also another reason to this all, um, which is part two. So a bit of a heartfelt story. So I was here back in February for my 30th birthday, and I was meant to be here for a week, and in the end I was here for two days. And my trip got completely cancelled, because when I arrived a massive snowstorm hit, and I couldn't get to any of my accommodation as all the roads were closed. Uh, so I had to go home back to Scotland after two days, and I was gutted. And I was really going through an incredibly hard time in my life um, at that moment in time. And I really needed a break to Iceland. And I was like literally looking forward to it for so long. And I'd planned it for months in advance, like years I'd been dreaming about this trip and I've saved up for it and everything. And then it was just gone. And the worst bit was just to add to it, put salt on the wound, um, was that my insurance company refused to pay back anything. So I lost literally everything but over the last few months I worked exceptionally hard I uh, saved my pennies and I am back and I'm here now so if I get a bit emotional <laughs> throughout this whole vlog series it's because it's taken me a lot to be here right now um, and it literally means the world and I'll try not to get emotional uh, but it does and <laughs> um, yes yeah, so that's why I wanted to share this with you as well and just show you the adventures of a very happy lady traveling around Iceland. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. But anyway, without further ado, we shall crack on with this adventure and I will take you around Iceland and I shall bring you with me. <laughs> okay then, let's get moving. Okie doke, I've arrived at my first adventure of Iceland, technically second because the supermarket's adventure for me. Um, and I'm going to head out in a minute, and I promise I am in Iceland, <laughs> I will get out of the car. I'm going to head to the Glymur, I think it's called the Gly, Glymur, 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 Glymur waterfall, and it's about a four and a half mile hike, like a loop around, nothing too strenuous, but I thought it'd be quite nice to just explore it by some en route. Um, I'm going to have to though chuck on some midge spray and I might even get my midge jacket out the back because I've just looked out my window, well looked through the window and the midges are so bad like they're already going to eat me and I get bitten badly so just a word of advice to anyone this time of year, midges, don't forget your midge spray and if you've got a midge jacket wear one but yeah on that note I'll get on. Glimmer? <laughs> Glimmer. Glimmer. Bloody hell. Where is that? Somewhere in here. Aha! Aha! Armed and ready with my midge jacket. Bring it, midges. I was already prepared. I'm from Scotland. I live in the land of midges. You won't defeat me! Okay, so I'm making my way up to Glimmer, the Glimmer waterfall, Fossa I should say, Fossa, 
Um, this place is beautiful. So this is the purple flower I was on about, which I believe is lupin, which is really cool. It's really stunning, but it's like literally everywhere. When I landed from the plane <laughs> at the airport, it was covered everywhere, was just lupin everywhere. It's so nice. I don't know if it's necessarily an invasive species or not. No idea, but <laughs> I think it looks beautiful. So anyway, I should carry on up. This is the scenery right now, gifted with and greeted with by Iceland for the first day, and it's amazing. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see what this is. Um, I've got I'm not really got any expectations as I don't research places before I go. Like I know locations, but I don't look at what they are. I like a surprise when I get there. So we shall see what this lovely location brings. But yeah, I'll take some videos on route anyway. Ciao. Okay, so I'm not at the Glimmer, Glimmer portal yet, but there is a cave. I can't say no to a cave. Let's go into the cave. It's down this way. Yep, yep, yep. Let's have a look. I love caves. I think there's enough caves in my life. It's, <laughs> it's a bit of a random thing, I know. Oh, so this is the cave, folks. Let's see if you can see it. That's better. And then there was a light. Look at this. How cool is this? Yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Look at this rock formation. Just to think, mate, it would have been cut out by water. Look at it. It's amazing. I'm going to get some shots in here in a minute with my wide angle lens. And I'm going to climb through some of these holes because they're just so tempting. But it's beautiful. Okay, so I just stopped for another uno momento. Um, just taking in this beautiful spot. I've uh, just been taking some pictures of the telephoto of the waterfall. And like, like it's, I'm literally just a few hours into this trip and it's just, it's just a complete dream come true to be honest with you. It's um, been getting a bit tearful just from happy tears. <laughs> and it, it, it really is like a dream come true. So I'm just, just taking it all in, to be honest. Um, it's just the best, best day ever. It really is. <laughs> but I should carry on um, and I'll show you the top in a minute, but I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> I mean, it could be raining right now and it'd be fantastic, but it's sunny, the birds are out, everything's singing, the water's flowing. It couldn't get any better. It's just, it's just perfect. It's magical. So I feel very blessed. <laughs> Okay, and we made it to the Gima, Gima, Gleema, I still don't know, Foss Waterfall. Um, and it's beautiful. There's loads of seagulls flying around, or some type of gull anyway. Um, and it's beautiful. Can you hear it roaring? I love the sound of water and like that power. It's pure power. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, that seagull was really close. <laughs> I'm going to try and like kind of go up a little bit if I can. It'd be nice to go up that way and come down that side where there's some people up there. That's what I'm gonna try and do anyway. I've been faffing a bit, I'll be honest, but it's quite nice to faff sometimes and not worry about the time. Um, but this is beautiful, stunning, one happy lady. And it's not even day one yet. <laughs> I'm so happy, this is incredible. I gotta carry on. <laughs> Just look at this place! 
<laughs> I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. There's like snow in the hills that way, or the mountains. This is just beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful day. <laughs> There's like little rainbows coming off as well, the waterfall, as the sun's like kissing in the water as it falls. It's just beautiful. Stunning, super, super stunning. Oh, wow. What can I say? <laughs> so I'm gonna now head back down. I'm gonna try and get some more pictures as I've not got too many on the way up as I was getting a bit distracted filming, as I do. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy it. So I'll see you back at the car uh, while we go on to part two. Part two, wherever that may be or lead. <laughs> So I'm finally back from a very busy day. I've got up this morning at half four, drove to Edinburgh, got my flight from Edinburgh Airport to Keflavik Airport, which is in obviously Iceland. Drove from there to Reykjavik to get my food. Drove from Reykjavik to the, oh, Glima waterfall or Foss, which was incredible. And then I had to drive another hour, should have been an hour, it was an hour and a half because my sat nav was wrong. Um, <laughs> but the perks of being in Iceland this time of year is it's still daylight so you don't feel like you've missed out on your day or anything, you're rushing about so that's what was really nice about it. So far I have loved this day and it's just the first day, it's number one and it's amazing and I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm not checking messages, emails, social media, I do not care. I'm in this moment and that is it <laughs> and it's beautiful, I'm loving it, it's so good to be here, um, yeah it's amazing. There is a hot tub here as well, so I'm going to go in that in a bit as well. <laughs> so that brings today's adventure to a close. Um, it's kind of a short day-ish, but it wasn't short for me. It's a long day, but in terms of adventures, it was a short day. But tomorrow, I've got a lot of exciting stuff for you. Um, it's where I head towards the West Peninsula. Kirkjufell is on the list. Volcanoes, craters. I cannot wait. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to jump in the hot tub now. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and I shall see you next time. Bye bye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>